Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effect tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create a elegant color transition in After Effect. So, let's see the preview. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I'm calling it line. I'm using 1920 by 1080 resolution. 30 frame per second and my duration is 10 second longer. Right click to create a solid for your background. I'm using color yellow, you can choose any color of your choice. Unlock your caps lock to remove refresh disabled. Press Y to select the Anchor Point tool. And place the Anchor Point to the button left corner. And press Hold Control key to snap to the composition. Now press S to open scale. And change the scale size to 270. If you zoom in, you will see the extension of the layer. Press R to open rotation. And add keyframe to change the rotation to minus 92 degree, and the layer will be outside the project. Go to 1.2 frame on the timeline to add another keyframe, and change the rotation to plus 94 degree, then select all keyframe and easy ease or you can press F9 on your keyboard. Open the graph editor, if your graph editor is not like this, right click and change it to edit speed graph. Change the graph curve to something like this. I'm changing my resolution to quarter. Press spacebar to preview. Then switch to the timeline again. Go to edit and click duplicate or press ctrl plus D. You can zoom the timeline. Adjust the second layer. Go to layer and click solid settings to change the color. I'm using color blue, you can choose any color of your choice. You can adjust the timeline by pressing N on your keyboard. Go to the second layer and duplicate the layer using Ctrl plus D. Adjust the third layer. Go to layer and click solid settings to change the color. I'm using color green, you can choose any color of your choice. Go to the third layer, and duplicate the layer using Ctrl plus D. Adjust the fourth layer. Go to layer and click solid settings to change the color. I'm using color pulp, you can choose any color of your choice. Go to Effects and Presets, search for Drop Shadow. Or you can go to Effect. Before that, select the layer. Then go to Effect, select Perspective and click on Drop Shadow.
Move your timeline to the fourth layer. You can change your resolution to full. Go to drop shadow in the effect controls. Change the distance to 4, opacity to 46, softness to 52. Copy the drop shadow by pressing Ctrl plus C. Then paste it to the other layer, using Ctrl plus V. You can preview using spacebar. Select all layer, using shift on your keyboard. Then pre-compose, using Ctrl plus shift plus C on your keyboard. I'm calling it transition. Now we are going to import our images. Double click on the work panel to import images or press Ctrl plus I. Select all images, then import. Now let arrange our images. Create a new folder, I'm calling it image. Drag all the images inside the image folder. Drag your image into the timeline, and press S to resize it to the composition. Adjust the transition. We are going to animate the image. Press S to open scale. Add keyframe to start. Then go to one frame on the timeline to add another keyframe. Then select all keyframe, and easy ease by press F9 on your keyboard. You can adjust the keyframe. Press Alt Plus, to trim the image. Then drag your image into the timeline. And adjust the layer. Press S to resize it to the composition. We are going to animate the image. Press S to open scale. Add keyframe to start. Then go to one frame on the timeline to add another keyframe. Then select all keyframe, and easy ease by pressing F9 on your keyboard. You can add other images, and repeat the same procedure. Now let's see the preview. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please make sure you like, and share this video and also subscribe to my channel for more tutorial. Thank you.